Welcome to the Elcom tutorial educational learning special about how to use household appliances. Here to demonstrate how to use common household appliances are Bill and Matt. Bill will show us the incorrect way. Bill, please demonstrate. Matt will show us the correct way. Matt, please demonstrate. later on another compelling episode of Sketch Karma. I've been working this beat for five years, and you can't tell me that that little girl wasn't hooking. I know the truth, and I'm going to get the truth from you right now. I've killed, and I will kill again! Now, Johnny... Johnny, you need to get off the dope, son. You need to get off the dope. For God's sakes, we see you smoking dope five, six. You listen to me, boy. You listen to me. There's only one man who can save me now. I just wish I knew who he was. Stay tuned for these and many more exciting scenes from tonight's episode of Sketch Karma. Here we are. What do you think? Wow, this is a really nice place. It's really peaceful. Yeah, it's a nice area. Hmm. What do we got in here? Here's the bedroom. You can see freshly painted walls. They're going to leave the chandelier for you. Wow. It's a nice place. I 
It's a nice it's room. room. It's nice. Wait a second. Whoa. What was they, that? Oh, that's a Jason. Jason. They just put in brand new carpeting. Carpeting. Freshly painted walls. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. What is this again? That's a Jason. Jason. That, this is a Jason. Of course. And it comes with the house. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's no extra charge. It's part of the listing price. What is it? What is it? <laughs> And the high-tech uh, heating system. Wow, that yeah. looks pretty cool. It's very efficient for the winter time. I do have one question though. About the Jason. Jason. Um, does he just sit there all day? Ah, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And sort of teeter back and forth like a mental patient? Uh, yes. And I'm expected to live with this. Well, you should be honored. It's quite a privilege. Not a lot of people get to buy a house that has a Jason with it. Huh. There ain't so many in the world. Well, and, uh, all right, anyway. Also cutting down on the heating costs in the winter are the new windows. Wow, brand new windows. Brand that's new nice. Brand new windows. Just installed. Wow, that's great. That's feature. That is sure. wonderful. Um, what do you think? I have, I have one final question. What's that? And ironically, it has to do with the Jason. Now, what if I wanted to remove the Jason? Remove it? Like, like could, I just, could I just pick up the Jason and... I, well, <laughs> I gotta, um, I'm getting clues right now as to why I might want to remove the Jason. Um, are you sure he's supposed to be in the house? I mean, I want to put my TV here. Absolutely. He came with the house when it was built. I'm he's a really a selling feature. A conversation piece. All the neighbors like to come over and talk about him while you're here. It's a real uh, popular item. Uh, I, I can see how it could be a conversation piece. I get I I guess so. I guess so. I, I guess I can I can put my TV someplace else. You okay. know, that's no big deal. I'll take yeah, the house. Deal. I'll take the house. Okay, I'll bring the paper with five. Okay, you great, like great. Dude, you're out of beer. Let's go. Whoa. Wait a second. What was that? Oh that's a map. Oh. He's an alcoholic. He's not a nice person. Where are you going? Screw him. He's a bad person anyways. We didn't want him. Hey, Jack, go out for a pass. Oh, man, my finger's killing me. I wish there was something I could do about my sprained finger. You know, when I sprained my finger, my doctor gave me Clamator. Clamator is a non-drowsy, easy-to-swallow pill that brings relief to sufferers of mild to severe sprained finger pain. You know, I'll ask my doctor about Clamator. <laughs> anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen, naproxen sodium, or Demerol. Small children should not take Clamator. So Bill, how'd your doctor's appointment go? It went great. My doctor said I should take Clamator. Side effects of Clamator are mild and include dry mouth, coughing, shortness of breath, death, and syphilis. Clamator is for men only. Pregnant women should not have sexual contact with men taking Clamator for a risk of a long series of a certain kind of birth defect. Pregnant women or women who may potentially be pregnant should get tested immediately after hearing this commercial because exposure to the drug information to the general public has not yet been approved by the FDA. Adolescents should not use Clamator. So Bill, how's that finger feeling? Clamator may cause minor to severe, even fatal, neurological disorders. Most common with Tourette's syndrome and Parkinson's disease, as these diseases are easily identifiable. The elderly should not use Clamator. A small percentage of men, 98, experience certain sexual side effects. Each occurred in less than 2% of men. <laughs> it feels fine. I, I didn't hear anything about the sexual side effects. No wonder. So you're glad you took Clamator? Absolutely. Clamator is not a dangerous substance. It should not be used by people over the age of 36 and under the age of 34. People aged 35 should also avoid Clamator. Discontinue use of Clamator if any redness, soreness, or peripheral testicles appear near swollen lymph nodes, as this is usually a sign of overindulgence. Fat people should not use Clamator. I sure Clamator am. Clamator is not a toy. Clamator should not be used for badminton, as it has been found to be explosive under certain conditions. 98% of all conditions apply. Clamator is not a date rape drug. People who use Clamator may suffer a mild heart attack in inopportune moments. Skinny people should not use Clamator. If you are pregnant or nursing, you have a small child. I Clamator know that is 
My Same finger. My Doctors girlfriend insists that. There had ninety eight percent of. My the FDA has. There has other side effects include. I know there are you're some possible. Anyone Clementor who's looking. Once again, here to demonstrate how to use common household appliances is Bill. Bill will show us the incorrect way. Bill, please demonstrate. Matt will show us the correct way. Matt, please demonstrate. In a world where entertainment is everything, yet nothing was on, a quest began. Live TV equals ratings. Right, right, Mr. Producer Man. Live TV, the fuel that feeds the fire, the flame that burns within, the stitch in time that saved nine. A revolution in the way we see television was finally in view. Oh, so, so this is what I'm thinking, Mr. Producer, sir. This is what I'm thinking. We get this guy on TV, right? and we keep him on TV. The cameras are gonna be on him 24 hours a day for seven days a week. A constant reminder of the humility of humankind, a veritable conundrum of Macedonian pollution. This is a story of an idea that sounded good at the time. 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day, 24 hours a day. 24 hours a day, no, really. But it must be approved by one man, and he's really, really gross. He is interested in only one thing, money and cookies. Actually, he may enjoy cookies more. He's fat, disgusting, and he has a terrible, terrible odor. Did I mention he's gross? It's worth a second mention, even if I did. Through the revenue of sponsors during the show, the show could air 24 hours a day. Right, rub the Buddha. Yep, yeah, yeah. rub the Buddha. Yes, yes, Mr. Producer, sir. All right. The world will experience a new realm of entertainment, but only the perfect man will do. No, we're, we're gonna get some guy who's, who's, who's charismatic, he's likable, he's intelligent. Men will want to be him, and women will want to be with him. Indeed, women. We'll make him sign a seven-year contract will make you sign a seven-year contract. There'll be absolutely no possible breakage. He will be on TV for seven straight years, no matter what. The money was raised. The role was cast. The work was done. This guy is going to be the star of Bill TV. He's going to make us lots of money. He's going to do it. And Bill only had one thing in mind. I still get laid, right? Whatever you want. Yeah. It's the most profitable thing for this company. You are going to turn this company around. Three years in the works. $40 million spent. A television event that will change everything.
Come on, 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 come
I just got done watching that Clamator commercial. Tired of voiceovers? I was so sick of the way those voiceovers caught We here at Epitrol don't believe in voiceovers. I was just... Epitrol from Elcom. You don't have to listen to our side effects. It's the Matthew Corey Show! Tonight's guests, DJ Osman. And live via satellite, Intelligent Graffiti. And now, the man with the pants, Matthew Corey! Hi, and welcome to the Matt Corey Show. Today on our show, we're going to have two legendary rappers who also happen to be twin brothers. Joining us here in the studio is East Coast rapper DJ Osman. And live via satellite, we have his twin brother from the West Coast, who uh, is from this California mansion there on the West Coast, Intelligent Graffiti, known to his fans, of course, as IG. So, IG, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. IG, as always, it's a pleasure to have you on the Matt Corey Show. No, the pleasure is all yours. Hi, G. I'd like to you to uh, talk about this East Coast West Coast rivalry I've been hearing a lot about. Some sort of bickering between you and your brother. Could you explain? Okay. Let's talk about the East Coast West Coast alleged rivalry. I mean, it's absolutely crazy. It's it's blown completely out of proportion. Well, what are some differences you would cite in the East Coast rivalry? What's different about East Coast rapping, rap pinman, if you will? The East Coast has this this certain style of rap where they played a little rap song for the little kitties. West Coast, it's all style, all style. DJ Osmond, do you have any comments? Okay, he doesn't know what he's talking about. He's new in the industry. He's lucked out so far. But wait until you hit it hard, man. In a couple of years, you'll be failing, just like I did. Okay, see, you're just upset because you've never been nominated for a Grammy. Huh. You feel that just because I've been on the scene for only two years, and I've already won two Grammys. Grammy Schmammies. Hey, look. Okay, are you gonna interrupt me yes, when I'm I talking? Am. I don't interrupt you. Shut up! You don't interrupt me. Look, I'm sick of you. Okay. I'm sick of your crackhead babies you have all over the country. You got crack, you, you smoke drugs, you deal drugs, you're bad at If I see you, next time I see you, man, I'm gonna pop a cap in your ass. But IG, he's your brother. I don't care if he's my brother. I'd still do it. Oh, okay, look. You don't understand about intelligent graffiti. He's a bad influence on today's kids. His lyrics are absolutely crap. You know, that's why I don't ever want to see you. <sighs> we are no longer brothers. This is it. This is where the rivalry starts. Me, IG, against you. I'm not even going to say your name. It's not worth it. I'm out of here. Well, it looks as if, uh, as if IG has left the premises. Um, DJ Osmond, do you have any closing thoughts on, on your brother? All I have to say is if I ever see him, it is all over. Let me just tell you something. He is the worst artist in industry today. He lucked out with a few records, got a few Grammys, but after this year, it's all over. He's going to sit on his laurels. He's going to create crap like he's done in the past, and nobody will ever listen to his records. Just remember who the real DJ is. East Coast DJ Osman. Live long. Well, that's it for the Matt Corey Show today. Join us next week on the Matt Corey Show for Lesbian Hookers.
once again here to demonstrate how to use common household appliances is Bill. Bill will show us the incorrect way. Bill, please demonstrate. Matt will show us the correct way. Matt, please demonstrate. How you doing? I'm Bill Elliott, and welcome for watching, and welcome for watching. <laughs> You're just as bad. I, I am so far. <laughs> okay, one more try for me. Take okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can dig it. It's in his contract. <laughs> <laughs> What's the first thing you do? It's was like Black Friday bad. What's the first thing you do? You're brushing your teeth, right? I'm brushing my teeth. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Faggot! Hey, Are you gonna go? Vacuum cleaner. Oh, I have to clap, don't I? Yeah. You see, now you're like, no, but I was just gonna be lazy anyway. All right, uh, I'm gonna clap. All right, what is this? Hi there, and welcome. Welcome. <laughs> he thought he could do better. I was gonna better. say thank you. This <laughs> gets. Oh. Okay, you ready? All right. I'm pissed because he usually scrubs out. He usually like the the rug usually just goes <laughs> like bangs up against the door. You didn't understand my beginning. <laughs> don't notice the camera right away. Then. Don't notice the camera right away. Okay. What language was that? Hello. And you both can. Try to be aware of the camera. Like you can, you can stand. It's it's okay to get from like behind you. You you could be you could be standing here, saying like, look at the room in here. Bill stands. Bill stands facing the camera this way. So as long as both of you are in shot, looking into the room, you know we get the illusion. And then you can you can walk over this way and you say, we've got a beautiful kitchen. And, and don't go in the kitchen. Right. Don't go in. As long as one of you like you're both looking inside the door. Okay. But you want to stay in the room. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again, guys. And for our next skit, Bill and I would like to introduce you to a homo named... <laughs> it's, not, it's getting worse every I time. Know, I know, I know. It's right here, baby! <laughs> One more little thing! <laughs> well, and remember, this isn't the very last... What is this, like your private sex tape? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, hold on. We're gonna have a post-production interview. I wasn't involved, though. Dun, 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 Oh, no. Wait. Okay, whenever there's a porno, you gotta have porno music. You ready? Jay's, Jay's impression. <laughs> For those of you out there, Jay's impression of porno music is the theme to Sanford and Son. <laughs> okay, everyone, get ready. Bam, 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 bam